today's evening devotional. We belong to the royal family. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that, when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. 1 John chapter 3 verse 2 Can any earthly promotion confer honor equal to this, to be sons of God, children of the heavenly king, members of the royal family? The nobility of earth are but men, they die, and return to dust, and there is no lasting satisfaction in their praise and honor. But the honor that comes from God is lasting. To be heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, is to be entitled to unsearchable riches, treasures of such value that in comparison with them the gold and silver, the gems, and precious stones of earth, sink into insignificance. To have fellowship with the Father and His Son Jesus Christ is to be ennobled and elevated, and made a partaker of joys unspeakable and full of glory. Food, clothing, station, and wealth may have their value, but to have a connection with God and to be a partaker of His divine nature is of priceless value. Our lives should be hid with Christ in God, and although it doth not yet appear what we shall be, when Christ, who is our life, shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. The princely dignity of the Christian character will shine forth as the sun, and the beams of light from the face of Christ will be reflected upon those who have purified themselves even as he is pure. The privilege of becoming sons of God is cheaply purchased, even at the sacrifice of everything we possess, be it life itself. When John in his mortal state beheld the glory of God, he fell as one dead, he was not able to endure the sight. But when the children of God shall have put on immortality, they will see him as he is. They will stand before the throne, accepted in the Beloved. All their sins have been blotted out, all their transgressions borne away. Now they can look upon the undimmed glory of the throne of God. They have been partakers with Christ in his sufferings, they have been workers together with him in the plan of redemption, and they are partakers with him in the joy of seeing souls saved in the kingdom of God, there to praise God through all eternity.